Whilst theoretical knowledge of explosive decompression is usually adequate, it's very difficult for air crew to gain useful knowledge about gradually developing hypoxia. In the event of slow cabin decompression, there's a very real danger that untrained air crew will not recognize symptoms of hypoxia in time to appropriately react. As with all emergency procedures, practical training is the most effective way to prepare each member of the crew for the reality of their own symptoms. A thorough knowledge of hypoxia therefore is essential. That's because there's a wide range of individual reactions to hypoxic conditions. So it is important that you are familiar with how hypoxia affects you. At 25,000 feet, you would typically have less than three minutes to recognize and react to hypoxia. And of course, your time of useful consciousness decreases further with increasing altitude. So it's also important that sensitive individuals may alert other crew to their symptoms as early as possible. Typical reactions can be subtle and include difficulty concentrating, impaired coordination, distorted vision, headache and lightheadedness, heart palpitations and deeper breathing. Research has shown that air crew who have undergone practical hypoxia training are more likely to recognize in-flight symptoms in time to take necessary action. Therein lies the importance of practical training. Traditionally, hyperbaric chambers have been used for practical training. However, this costly approach does carry certain risks. More mobaric hypoxia training is as equally effective as hypobaric training for uh, hypoxia awareness in aviators. Uh, the good thing about normal baric training is that it does not come with the same risks uh, of hypobaric training such as barotrauma and decompression illness. The go-to-altitude system has been shown through extensive testing to provide a very safe and effective form of normal baric hypoxia training that can benefit uh, civilian and military aviators. Studies have shown that Norma Barrack hypoxia awareness provides the same experience without the associated hazards of training in a hyperbaric chamber. However, laboratory gas mix setups are awkward to use and do not offer sophisticated safety features or reporting capabilities. Until now, no practical hypoxia awareness system has been available. The revolutionary go-to altitude education system is the ideal solution. This fully integrated system is simple to operate, safe and delivers a truly beneficial learning experience. Go-to altitude monitors the physiological and cognitive responses of subjects under normal baric hypoxic conditions. And of course, its comprehensive reporting process allows you to effectively evaluate your individual reaction. The GoTo Altitude system features its own on-site, high-altitude and oxygenated air generator. Training providers are able to easily set up the required altitude profile as well as safety cutoff parameters. A theoretical module on altitude physiology is also supplied in line with regulatory requirements. Subjects wear a finger clip pulse oximeter and hold the breathing mask to their face. Then it's a simple matter of following the software program. Utilizing a touchscreen interface, subjects complete cognitive testing whilst physiological data is collected. There can be some interesting reactions. A video of the experience is provided to students for viewing later. Some students do not have an immediate recollection of their impaired performance. The video serves as an important reminder. After completing a half-hour theoretical and practical session with the GoTo Altitude Simulator, even the most experienced pilots are often surprised by their results. Remember, nobody is immune to the effects of hypoxia. The session may be terminated at any time by either the training supervisor or the subject. Oxygen-enriched air is automatically supplied through the same mask. 
At the end of the session, subjects receive an extensive report outlining their test responses. A debriefing process is undertaken to ensure subjects gain maximum benefit from their experience. Students are now aware of the sensations that are experienced with a decreasing level of blood oxygen saturation. Remember, the most valuable training for aircrew is when they are able to gain a practical understanding of their own reaction to hypoxia. The experience obviously gives them the knowledge of to be aware of what may be happening to them. So having done it in the training, they may realise or recognise it as it comes on. A survey conducted by the Federal Aviation Administration found that more than half of pilots believe they have not received sufficient hypoxia training via theoretical means. And nearly all pilots surveyed would undertake practical normobaric training if it was readily available. The beauty of the go-to altitude system is that it offers an efficient educational experience that places a minimal burden on training resources. It is available with any number of training seats, which easily provides capacity for recurrent training of all flight personnel. Installation and on-site operator training is provided, and maintenance plans are available. The system can be customised to suit the specific training requirements of any organisation. Whilst theoretical knowledge of explosive decompression is usually adequate, it's very difficult for air crew to gain useful knowledge about gradually developing hypoxia. In the event of slow cabin decompression, there's a very real danger that untrained air crew will not recognise symptoms of hypoxia in time to appropriately react. As with all emergency procedures, Practical training is the most effective way to prepare each member of the crew for the reality of their own symptoms. A thorough knowledge of hypoxia therefore is essential. That's because there's a wide range of individual reactions to hypoxic conditions. So it is important that you are familiar with how hypoxia affects you. At 25,000 feet, you would typically have less than three minutes to recognize and react to hypoxia. And of course, your time of useful consciousness decreases further with increasing altitude. So it's also important that sensitive individuals may alert other crew to their symptoms as early as possible. Typical reactions can be subtle and include difficulty concentrating, impaired coordination, distorted vision, headache and lightheadedness, heart palpitations and deeper breathing. Research has shown that air crew who have undergone practical hypoxia training are more likely to recognize in-flight symptoms in time to take necessary action. Therein lies the importance of practical training. Traditionally, hyperbaric chambers have been used for practical training. However, this costly approach does carry certain risks. Normobaric hypoxia training is as equally effective as hypobaric training for uh, hypoxia awareness in aviators. Uh, the good thing about normobaric training is that it does not come with the same risks uh, of hypobaric training such as barotrauma and decompression illness. The go-to-altitude system has been shown through extensive testing to provide a very safe and effective form of normobaric hypoxia training that can benefit uh, civilian and military aviators. Studies have shown that normobaric hypoxia awareness provides the same experience without the associated hazards of training in a hyperbaric chamber. However, laboratory gas mix setups are awkward to use and do not offer sophisticated safety features or reporting capabilities. Go to Altitude truly is a hypoxia training system for the 21st century. No other training system in the world offers fully integrated, easy to use, safe and effective hypoxia training. The Go to Altitude system adds real value to your training capabilities. Aviation safety is comprised of a whole range of important components 
Until now, there has been a gap in knowledge of...